hey guys welcome back to another video today we are making samosas or sambusa this is beef sambusa i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe let's get into the video to start off we'll be cooking our meat this is fresh ground beef that i got from the somali store or the halal store if you don't like ground beef you can also use ground chicken turkey or you can also just make it vegan and use potatoes there's over a thousand ways to make samosa this is a very international dish that a lot of cultures make once you give it a good mix we are adding in our minced garlic this is freshly minced garlic you can use the jar one but i would suggest freshly mincing your own now you want to give it a really good mix I like cooking the garlic with the meat at first, so that way it gives a really good flavor. As you can see, I don't have much liquid or fat on my ground beef, so now I'll be adding in my seasonings. I will be listing the ingredients down below. Now you want to give it a really good mix. Make sure you don't have any clumps of seasonings on just one little piece. Incorporate it fully into the ground beef. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Now we'll be adding in our chopped onion, bell peppers. I'm using green and orange and also fresh, fresh cilantro. Now you don't have to use two different color bell peppers, but I just give it that so it can have a bit of a vibrant color to it. Now you want to give it a really, really good mix. I know it looks like a lot of vegetables, but it's really not because we are cooking it together with the beef right now. So it kind of shrinks in size so you're not biting into large bell peppers because even I don't like that. Usually most Somalis will just stop here and be done, but in my house, we like to add potatoes to our samosa filling. I don't know, it just gives it much more texture, it just tastes better, but I would highly suggest adding potatoes to it. We're gonna mix this together, make sure it's not clumpy and fully incorporate the potatoes into the beef. This part is optional, but add it in some turmeric. This is just for color, just to make it look, to give it more of a curry color or more of a yellowish color. But it is totally optional, you do not have to add it. And when it looks like this, we're done. This is the type of tortilla I'm using to wrap my samosas. You can use any kind, but this is the kind I'm using. Now this part, I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can, but just try to follow along with the video. Once you get your tortilla, you want to cut it in half one way, and then go the other way, and then also cut it in half. This part is pretty easy. Now, once you do that, you should end up with four parts that are pretty much equal in size because you want all your samosas to come out about the same size. You don't want one smaller than the other, but it should look something like this. You should have a triangle. You will need a paste to close, to seal your samosas. This is just water and flour. Just mix it so you get this consistency. Now to fold the, the tortilla, you want to get one corner, bring it in, get some of the flour paste and spread it just like how I am. And then you'll get the other corner and then bring it down to close it just like that. And then you should have like a pocket. You can just wipe away the excess flour or the paste and it should look like this. Pretty simple. Now you get about a heaping tablespoon of your filling and then get like a little more. This depends on how much filling you want in your samosa. And then push in the filling. You wanna close and make sure nothing comes out when we fry it later. Now you will get some more of the paste and spread it between, just like how I'm doing. And you also spread it on top and then you'll just close it and then make sure you seal each corner and that's it now we'll be frying our samosas you want to fry this until it is golden brown it does not take long so please do not walk away from the samosas while they are frying and make sure your heat is on medium high 
do not put them on really high because they will burn fast. But once it looks like this, it should be good and you are done. It looks amazing. It's so golden brown. It's delicious. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. This is a family favorite. We make this for every Ramadan. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you've ever tried samosas or if your culture makes samosas. But that's it. See you guys next time.